Now let's talk about the technical part of the gas calculation. You might have this question that how this gas is getting calculated at the time of deployment or executing of the function. So generally it happened in this way. First, that you have a flaw in your smart contract. That's why the gas price is going higher in your case for executing the transaction. But if you look at the computational part, one gas, which is the smallest unit when it's come to calculating the gas fee. So generally, the average amount we have to pay for any kind of deployment, the contract or executing any function, the average, the industry and standard we have is close to 21,000 gas unit you have to pay because this is what we hard code in our smart contract before we deploy the contract so if it goes beyond that there is some sort of problem you have because this is the standard fee we declare in the smart contract in well optimized smart contract so you have that 21,000 gas unit which you have to pay for deploying the contract so once you will have that number for, for example one unit is causing you like like 30 GUI or 20 GUI depending, but we have the standard is 30. That what we take into consideration when we have write the optimized smart contract. So it's cost 30. Once you have that 30 amount, that amount you have to multiply with the 21,000. So whatever amount you get, that's the amount you have to pay initially at the time of deployment of the contract. If it's good beyond that, there is some problem you have in the contract. It can happen with multiple reason due to some flaw, due to some undeclared variable, due to proper like using unnecessary loop in the contract or irritation. It can happen for multiple reasons. That's why you have to check your contract before you actually deploy. So I hope now you know how to calculate the gas unit and how much money you're going to pay for deploying the contract. So once you get that particular number, you have to simply convert it to a 18 decimal point because if you deploy your contract to Ethereum, it has a 18 decimal. So one Ethereum you will get 18 zeros. So you simply convert it and you will get the amount which you have to pay for executing the transaction. So it's very straightforward. This is the little technical part which we take into the consideration before we actually deploy the contract.